second mate and 16 others were yanked out of their bed in the middle of the night. Family members of an inmate want to know why their relative, who has only had one write up in the last year, was taken from the state penitentiary in Lincoln a couple of weeks ago and then transported to the prison in Tecumseh. And all they were being told were they were being labeled for active STG members or security threat group in place in restrictive housing. The family members asked not to be identified to protect the inmate. Monday, they went to a public meeting dealing with restrictive housing held at the Tecumseh prison. I want more answers. They, along with the Ombudsman's office, is calling for more due process. There may not be enough evidence to support a disciplinary process and a finding of misconduct, but we have enough evidence to show and to believe that that person is at risk Corrections Director Scott Frake says there's multiple levels of review and they can't divulge some of the information because it might lead to retaliation. He says it's helping prevent inmate uprisings and staff assaults. In the past two years, there have been two major disturbances resulting in four inmate deaths. We have prevented some significant incidents and likely, high likelihood that there would have been serious injuries to others. The Inspector General for Corrections is looking to a number of matters dealing with the department's use of restrictive housing. So my office is going to dig into some of these cases and try to figure out are they getting due process? Are they getting their chance to make their case to say, you know, no, that's not me, that's somebody else, or you don't have this right. These family members worry their inmate is not getting the programming or medication he needs while he's in restrictive housing. If something happens, there will be Held a raise. In Tecumseh, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.